they feel that if they can keep me in need of, uh, in other words, let me make just enough money to exist, that means I'll go out there and punch that clock. I mean, you can go stir crazy just trying to figure out how long is it going to take you to make 10 hours going in this little three by three space back and forth, getting your stock, turn around, working on a job. Well, you look at it this way, you need the money. And uh, you don't have your mind on how many cars coming down the line. You just look up the line and say, hey, here's another car. I mean, see what color stock this needs. Boom, you go get the stock and run back to get in the car. You don't think about how many cars she's doing an hour and uh, what so-and-so doing out in the street. Because if you did, you wouldn't be there too long. <laughs> and then if you get out in the street, there ain't nothing out there for you. So you just keep your mind off of that and keep your mind on uh, Say, well, uh, finance man be over my house tomorrow looking for his money. Only way I don't get his money if I keep on running up and down this line. And this is what you think. Just give, give you more willpower, because you know you need the money, and you got to get it, and this is the only way you can get it at the time. So chase this car up and down the line. And to do the job right, to get the man off your back, because why the man is on your back, it's just what making things worse for you. And the harder things is, less work you're going to do, and less work you do, sooner later you'll be out on the middle of the road. So you yeah. might as well keep on pushing. for me to do the same job for another 30 years. Hey, now they got another story coming.